Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to go over in-game Warzone graphic settings to make sure you guys are playing at your maximum possible performance. We've already done network settings, we've done window settings, we've done overclocks, and we will continue to do more optimization videos going forward. So stay tuned and check out the other ones if you haven't. Hit me with a like, if you enjoy the video, hit me with a comment about maybe what you'd like to see in the future or any feedback or questions, and I'll be in there. Um, enjoy this video. We will be doing controller settings in another video as well. Today, we're going to stick to just the graphics, real simple. I'll explain to you guys what everything means, and we'll help make sure that you guys are tuned to the max. Let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to want to do is go into settings and then choose graphics, and we will start with display. I always make sure I am on full screen exclusive. I am on a dual PC setup. So when I have the game up, that's the only thing I have running. And I want to make sure that's on max performance. If you are someone that's constantly tabbing out of the game to go to Discord or something else, you might want to use borderless to make sure you're on the max. And if you can, I would always suggest ex exclusive but Borderless is right there with exclusive on Warzone, which is really awesome. Don't worry about it too much, but if you can, put it on exclusive. The monitor, you're going to want to choose yours. You're going to want to choose your GPU. You're going to want to choose your monitor's max refresh rate and your max resolution. I play on 1920, 1080. This, you're going to leave all the way down to NVIDIA Reflex low latency where you're going to want to make sure you are either on on or on plus boost this is going to be depending on your system your equipment and whether you're gpu or cpu bound so i would even suggest trying both if you're not sure if you don't know how to figure that out check them both out and run whatever feels the best for you for me that has always been on plus boost after that, we're going to go down, make sure eco mode preset is custom and off, VSAC, VSync, VSync menus off, frame rate, we're going to we're going to put on unlimited to make sure we're getting the maximum and we're going to leave the rest of these settings here. Going over to quality, you're going to make sure you are on custom, make sure you're on fidelity cast. Now, if you go watch YouTube videos out there, you might find some other people that swear other settings give you better frames. And that's true. Some of these other settings in here do give me 10, 20 more extra frames. But the cost of going to those other presets are that you will lose latency. You will have more latency. Fidelity Cast is the best for latency. So if you can play on Fidelity Cast, I recommend it. Render resolution at 100, dynamic resolution off. Um, some of these other settings will get you the higher frames and it'll look like it's better. But when it comes down to the gameplay, you want your controller and or mouse and keyboard to respond at its fastest. That's super important. And I can't change off of Fidelity Cast. I've tried all the other options on low settings to see how the performance can feel. And no matter what I've done, Fidelity Cast has been night and day for me. I can't switch off of it. Um, render resolution, however, if you're on a low end PC and in game you're getting only 100, 120 frames, this is something that you can slide down until you get the performance you want. However, there's going to be a quality loss. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I'm on a 3080 Ti i12700 i have a really good system and you know render resolution is also very important you want to be able to see the enemies on the map at the same time if i was on a 100 fps pc i you might see me well you would definitely see me with this on 90 or even 80 to gain some more performance because at that point it's worth it to be that much quicker um, to have that reaction time so it's really a balance. It depends on your PC. Mine is at 100 because I have a really good system that can handle it. And I still get 200 plus FPS on big map and yours extend. So for me, it's 100. But if I was on a worse PC, only getting 100, 120 frames, I would be lowering this to get some more performance out of it. Um, now we're going to go down to path tracing. That's going to be off. VRAM scale target and variable rate. 90 on, leaving it. 
Um, and now down here, we pretty much want everything low and off. Very low, low, off, low, low, off, off, low, off, low, low, off, 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 low, off, low, off, off, off. Pretty simple there. I'm happy with the quality that Fid Fidelity Cast brings um, at 100% uh, render resolution and I'm happy with my performance so I don't feel it necessary to turn any of these on the ones that don't matter bullet impacts you can turn on if you like to see that um, as well as if you do want more quality you can turn this up a notch but if you see down at the VRAM usage in the corner every time you turn this up it's pretty dramatic uh, how much it changes but if you're on a super PC you might as well play at 200 FPS and have good quality. So that's why it matters what you're on. For me, I'm on a 3080 Ti, an i1-2700, and I still choose to put this on very low because I can see decent with the render resolution, it feels good with the cast, and I have everything else low and off to make sure I'm at the maximum performance. Um, so that's my recommendation, and maybe tweak it slightly depending on what you're on. Uh, then we're going to go over to view and a lot of this I'm going to cover in my controller settings because the best field of view um, is 120. Some people on controller swear that when they turn their field of view down a couple notches like I have here that it makes it feel like the aim assist is a little stronger. I got to be honest, I've been running it at 117 for a few months now, and I haven't noticed a difference, but I also didn't change it back to 120 because three uh, out of 120 is not that much. So I'm not losing that much of the picture, uh, so I'm still kind of messing with it. But anywhere between 115 and 120 at the max is definitely where you want to be if you're on mouse and key there's no reason to not have it on 120 so you can see the most ads field of view most people are going to be on affected i'll talk about this a little bit more in my controller settings video the majority of people are on affected and swear that affected is the best I am on controller and I'm on 1080p with low settings, so I find my advantages with independent. Independent means when you click ADS, your screen is going to zoom in to a lower FOV. If you're on affected, when you ADS, nothing changes with the picture. You see everything the exact same, except for your gun just zooms into the crosshair but nothing actually zooms in on the map. I'm sure most of you guys know the difference between both. Um, most people are unaffected, so that is what I would suggest for the general population. I find my advantages with independent. That's what I run. Uh, weapon field of view, you're going to want on wide. If you read down in the corner here, when you put it on wide, your weapon looks smaller. So that means you can see more of the map. So you make sure this is on wide. It'll look a little different to you at first, but trust me, it's going to be worth it once you get used to it. Small, easy change. Just makes your gun look a little skinnier and you can see more of the map. These we're going to leave. World motion blur and weapon motion blur you're going to have off. Film grain zero. And we are going to leave the rest of this here. That's it for the display and graphic settings on Warzone for the best performance. If you have any questions, feedback, or other things you'd like to see, hit me in the comments. Hit me with a like if this video helped. I love you guys. We got a lot more performance and optimization coming. I'm just breaking these up so we can bang them out quick. We'll be into a new one tomorrow. Hope you guys stay tuned. And if you haven't checked out the other optimization videos we've already done, we've been posting them almost every day in a row this week. Check them out. Have a good rest of your night. I'm going to be streaming live after this on Twitch if you guys want to come say hi. But either way, have a good day. Have a good night. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. We'll be back tomorrow with another YouTube. Peace out, you guys.